so the topic is about algebraic expressions so we'll see how different types of algebraic expressions are expressed and then how we can add them and subtract them so before that we need to see some basic properties on algebraic expressions so there are totally many different types of algebraic ex expressions to start with the first algebraic expression is a monomial A monomial is an algebraic expression which has only one term. So, for example, algebraic expression with only one term. For example, if I just take 3x, 5x square and minus 7x or I take 11. So all these are monomials because they are just written with only one term. So same way if I just say binomial, it is an algebraic expression with two terms is called a binomial. So let's start with monomial and then next is binomial and then comes trinomial and so on and so forth. So binomial is an algebraic expression with two terms. So this is the definition for a binomial expression. So for example, if I just take 2x minus 3, I identify here that there are two terms, one is 2x and one is negative 3. So the combination of two terms written in an expression form is called a binomial expression. So an an expression written with only one term is called a monomial expression. So I would like to take one more example where 5x square minus 7 also is a binomial. If I have two unknown variables say 2x plus 3x square is also a binomial where the first term is 2x and the second term is 3x square. Let me take one interesting example where x square plus 3x minus 4x square. Now here I identify that this is not in the binomial form but I can make it converted into binomial expression because these two terms can be further simplified to reduce to one particular term so that you get two terms reduced after simplification. So this indirectly is a binomial expression in the way that when I just take x square minus 4x square is minus 3x square and plus 3x written out here. So the simplification of x square and negative 4x square gives me minus 3x square plus 3x fixed and written as the second term which makes me understand that this is the first term and the second term because it has two terms in the expression. This is an example of a binomial expression. Whereas if you take the unsimplified form, it doesn't form a binomial expression. So this, these are the various examples for binomial. Now once monomial and binomial has been discussed, the third thing what is there in the, in the definition is trinomial. And you all can guess what a trinomial is based on the definitions which we have taken there. An algebraic expression with one term is monomial, with two terms is binomial, so with three terms will be a trinomial. So the definition is quite easy. Algebraic expression with three terms and even there are so many examples which we can take out here. If I take an example where 5 minus 3x plus 7x square is a trinomial because it has three terms as it can be clearly seen. The first term is 5, the second term is negative 3x and the third term is 7x power 2. So these three terms makes this algebraic expression to be called as a trinomial or a trinomial expression. So this, there are many, many examples which we can take in mathematics related to trinomial. Yes. So these are the three basic examples which are taken. One is the monomial, binomial and trinomial. So there are many expressions where you can have more than three. You can have four, five, six. So generally any expression which has more than three terms is called a multinomial. So we need to, we need not, we, we cannot take 
the number of uh, terms defined for any number of expressions where the, the terms are increased to a larger extent. It is worth meaningful to take one term as monomial, two terms as binomial and three terms as trinomial. But when you have n number of terms, it is called a multinomial. So an algebraic expression with ter n terms with n greater than 3 is called a multinomial. Where for n equal to 1, 2, 3 is already defined for monomial, binomial and trinomial. So let's see an example for a multinomial. For example, I take an algebraic expression 3 minus 4x plus 5x square plus 7x cube minus 9x power 4 minus 9x power 4 plus 12x power 5. Now this algebraic expression, let's see how many terms are there and we'll count by the process 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is an algebraic expression with 6 terms which is called a multinomial with 6 terms. So this is an example of a multinomial consisting of 6 terms. Yes. Now, based on all the various types of algebraic expressions which we have seen, starting with monomial, binomial, trinomial and multinomial, we will now see how we are going to add or subtract the different algebraic expressions using the like terms and unlike terms. So first initially we will see what exactly is a like term and what exactly is the or the unlike terms. So when we discuss about like terms, the, the terms with, where the degree is same are called the like terms. So if the degree is same, then the terms are like terms. So when I say degree, the highest power of the unknown variable, say for example, I take 3x minus 5x square, 4x, 7x cube. So in this case, I find that the degree of this term is 1 because the power of x is 1 here. Now when I take here, the degree of the second term is 2 because the power of the unknown variable that is x is 2. If I take here, the degree of this term is 1 because x has its power as 1. When I take this term, its degree is 3 because of x cube. Now in this case, I identify that the first term and the third term are having the same degree. So these two are said to be the like terms. So the first term and the third term have same degree 1. Therefore, according to the definition of like terms, 3x and 4x are called like terms. So whenever we have any problem where we need to identify the like terms, we just search for the degree and if the degree is same, they are like terms and if the degree is not same, they are not the like terms. So when we define the like terms, similar fashion we can define the unlike terms. If the degree is not same, then the terms are unlike terms. So here, when I take 3x and minus 5x square, these two are having two different degrees. Therefore, these two are unlike terms. These two are like terms. 3x and 7x cube are unlike terms because the degree of this is 1 and degree of this is 3. So let's take it as a different example definition and then see many examples of unlike terms.